Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. That was a declaration of independence on July 4th, 1776, and you would think, okay, that's all the freedom we needed, freeze everything, but it didn't. And that's why you have the Emancipation Proclamation, January 1st, 1863, uh, or Juneteenth celebration, which June 19, 1865 is recognized when it really went into effect. So, so now you have you have the Declaration of Independence saying, "Well, we set you, we 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 believe that it, we have God given rights that everybody have the right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness." It didn't do it. There are still some people enslaved by the ones that uh, embraced the right to be free. So after that. After that happens, uh, you think Emancipation Proclamation that frees the slaves. And so, okay, now we were done with fighting this battle of, of freedom, but we were not. Because now, even though they was free in a way, physically, they weren't free to vote. Okay, so the 15th Amendment freed uh, African Americans. It, it freed uh the people in this country, some of them, and giving them the right to vote. And I said some of them because in 1924, there were Native Americans that were given the right to be citizens so they would be able to vote. That was June the 2nd, 1924. So now we have that, Native Americans. But we see in 1920, uh, women did not have the right to vote, and because of that, now we have uh, the women right to vote. And you, you see that, how that keep going on and on. Uh, African Americans or the slaves in America were now free, but didn't have the freedom to vote. They received the freedom of, to vote by the 15th Amendment in uh, 1870. But then uh, the freedom to uh, education, Great education, not separate but equal, that came in May 17, 1954. So now the freedom to be educated uh, in the best colleges, the best schools. And then you think, well, we're done with this because now we, we're free physically from slavery. We got the freedom to vote. And now we uh, have freedom in November 15th. 1956, we got the freedom for uh, the best education, but it's still not done. So in 1964, the Civil Rights Act that passed that said you could you got the freedom to go to uh, in a restaurant and be able to be served without coming through the back door or whatever. I wanted you to see just that progression, just by time we would say everything is done and by the time the celebration is over, then we begin to realize there was areas that we were not free in. Then there's the Fair Housing Act, which says now you can live in any place. Uh, if you can afford it, you can live in an apartment or you can buy in a uh, house. So you, you see that progression goes on and on and on and on and on. Well, the reason I want you to see that is because Jesus, during his time, he, he raised that same question with the religious people of his day. And the question he raised with the religious people of his day, and these were the ones that believed on him, he told them that they were going to uh, be free, free indeed. If the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. Well, when he told them that you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free, uh, they raised an objection that they had never been in slavery. But when Jesus talks about freedom, he's talking about freedom in a whole nother dimension. He's not just talking about the surface things that we can see. The greatest enslaver of mankind is not with handcuffs and shackles and prisons. The greatest enslaver of mankind is an invisible slavery that comes from the very depths of hell. And that is the reason why Jesus had to come and defeat he had to defeat the devil who had the power over uh, the grave, and he had the power uh, over 
deaf and, and swollen. So he went into hell, defeated him, uh, took that away from him, took the keys, the deaf and the grave from him. So whenever you speak of freedom, you, you, we are saying something that has a greater significance, that has a greater meaning than we could ever imagine. So when Jesus said freedom, he's talking in a whole different dimension. So the whole purpose this month is to focus on what was being said, uh, how Jesus viewed freedom, so we can free ourselves from the things that uh, torment us. We can free ourselves from the things that will hold us in bondage, in bondage. And we must be better than those that were in Jesus' day. We must receive the knowledge, and not just the knowledge, but be able to humble ourselves so we will be uh, better than our religious forefathers who, because of the rejection of truth, ended up crucifying truth itself, ended up crucifying the Lord Jesus Christ. So our response to truth is very, very important. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Acts Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in actsministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. I want to talk about a lady in the Bible today that... uh, freed herself, freed herself from the bondage that she was in, and that bondage was a bondage of sickness, a bondage of sickness that was going to destroy her. It was going to destroy her, and she freed herself from it. Now, I'm going to be saying that, and I don't want you to misunderstand when I said she freed herself from it. Uh, as if she had the power to do it on her own. But whenever the Lord has made preparation for our deliverance and for our freedom, the choice then becomes ours. Think about what the Lord said to Moses. It was Moses that began to pray to the Lord, began to pray to the Lord at the Red Sea. It was, it was the Lord that said to Moses, what is that in your hand? What is that in your hand? It was a rod. He had given him what he needed to bring about deliverance and freedom for the children of Israel. So when I say free yourself, I'm saying that God has done everything that he can do and all that he will do. He has released the power to us. So now it is up to us to use the power since the Lord has come and took power from death, hell, and the grave, it wouldn't make sense to sit in a prison where the doors have been uh, broken and opened and just stay there without trying to get out. It wouldn't make sense. And that's what he says to us. He says he has opened our graves. The Lord says he's opened our graves so we can walk out. But there's a woman, I think, that depicts this fight and this struggle that must go on for our freedom. In Luke chapter 8 and in verse number 43, this woman, and she's a very familiar woman in the Bible, especially in the New Testament. She doesn't have a name. We're not given a name, but we're given her condition. And her condition is that she had a issue of blood for 12 years. And I believe that all of us, we have certain issues that we would love to be free from. So this is where we're going. We're laying a foundation. We're receiving the information we need. We're understanding the principles that have been given to us. So we can use these principles, use the word of God to free ourselves. Now, 
most of us don't like that because it placed a responsibility on us. But after the cross, the Bible is clear that there remains no more sacrifice. There's nothing else that heaven can give. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. Morning Glory begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday School begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word, join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank 